Are you a first home buyer? Well, the Australian government has launched its first home loan deposit scheme, and that was on the 1st of January, and I've had plenty of questions from our followers about the scheme and about who's eligible and how it works. So in today's Just Ask Tim video series, I wanted to get stuck into it so you can find out if this is for you, but before we get into it, let me introduce myself. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth. Welcome to our Just Ask Tim video series where you can get all your questions answered on anything finance, real estate, investment related, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along and thanks for joining us. And don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So what is the first home loan deposit scheme? The Australian government has introduced this first home loan deposit scheme to support first home buyers to purchase a home sooner. Now it does this by providing a guarantee that will allow eligible first home buyers to purchase a home with a deposit of as little as 5% without needing to pay for lenders mortgage insurance. The scheme will support up to 10,000 guaranteed loans per financial year and that's from the 1st of January 2020. Now, eligible borrowers can use the guarantee in conjunction with other government programs like the First Home Super Saver Scheme or State and Territory First Homeowners Grants and Stamp Duty Concessions. So as an example, it will work in WA in conjunction with the First Homeowners Grant and those relevant stamp duty concessions that they provide as well. Now, just to be clear, the guarantee is not a cash payment or a deposit for your first home loan. So if that's the case, how does the scheme work? So eligible first home buyers are able to obtain an eligible loan to purchase an eligible property through a participating lender with up to 15% of the value of the property guaranteed by the National Housing Finance and Investment Corporation. So notice there's lots of use of the word eligible. So let's run through who's eligible for the scheme. Now applicants will need to fit the following criteria. So they'll need to be Australian citizens who are at least 18 years of age. So permanent residents are not eligible. Singles with a taxable income of up to $125,000 per year for the previous financial year and couples with a taxable income of up to two hundred dollars per year from the previous financial year will also uh, be eligible. Now note for all scheme applications that's made from this 1st of January to the 30th of June, the relevant financial year will be the financial year ending in 2019. Now also couples are only eligible for the scheme if they are married or in a de facto relationship with each other. Other persons buying together, so siblings, parent, child, friends are simply not eligible for the scheme. And the scheme is to assist singles and couples who, at least, uh, who have at least 5% of the value of an eligible property saved as a deposit. If you already have saved a 20% deposit, then once again, you won't be covered by that either. Now also, loans under the scheme require scheduled payments of the principal and interest of the loan for the full period of the agreement. Now there are some limited exceptions for interest only loan, with interest only loans, but that's only for interest only during construction in terms of the building of new homes. Now applicants must intend to be the owner occupiers of the purchased property, so they can't, it can't be used for investment properties. Now applicants must be first home buyers who have not previously owned or had an interest in a property in Australia either separately or jointly with someone else. Now this includes residential strata and company title properties as well. Now keep in mind it's not just the applicants that need to be eligible, it needs to be a certain type of property as well. So for a property to be eligible it must be a residential property and this has a very particular meaning under the scheme. So if you're not sure, we can run through that with the lenders. Now, eligible residential properties include an existing house or townhouse or apartment, uh, or they could include a house and land package, or land together with a separate contract to build a home. Or it could be an off-the-plan apartment or townhouse. Now, please note, though, that specific dates and requirements do apply for the different property types. What about property price thresholds? Do they apply? So yes, the objective of the scheme is to assist in the purchase or construction of a modest home uh, and the value of a residential property must not exceed the relevant price cap for the area in which it's located. So the price caps for the four main capital cities are Sydney 700,000, Melbourne 600,000, Brisbane 475 and Perth 400. Well, how do you apply if it fits all that? Well, to find out whether you're eligible and what the participating lenders would be willing to lend, you can simply contact us by posting in the comments or contacting us through our website or social media channels. So there are no costs or repayments associated with the scheme guarantee. However, you are responsible for meeting all costs and repayments for the home loan associated with that scheme. 
Now the scheme commences on the 1st of January for the major participating bank lenders and the 1st of February for non-major bank lenders. Now the National Housing Finance and Investment Corporation will not accept applications directly and does not maintain a waiting list uh, either. Now, also remember, it's limited to the first 10,000 people each year, which is approximately only 10% of uh, the first home buyers in every year. So you've got to act fast. So guys, that's pretty much it from me today. Now remember to like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, if you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail uh, for our Just Ask Tim video, uh, video series, then there's a link in the post as well. And stay tuned uh, early next week for The Why, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, and investment. Apart from that, guys, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. Action. See ya.